We've learned that Officer Daniel Sanchez remains on administrative leave, which he was placed on after shooting and killing Rajan Munasinga. Rajan's family says that they want police to prove that they prioritize de-escalation. Thank you. Ruth Munasinga remembers the qualities she knew and loved about her youngest son, Rajan. My son was a successful businessman about to open a new restaurant. He had a warm and wonderful circle of friends. Since his death in 2022, their family has been asking for answers and change. In the way that police can earn medals of valor, they hope to see something similar created for de-escalation tactics. We are asking the APD and Chief Chacon to establish a preservation of life medal that commends those that employ de-escalation tactics. Mark Munasinga believes this will reinforce APD's commitment to de-escalation. The officer who killed him hid in a defensive position behind a large fence 20 yards away and fired the shots before even finishing the command to drop your gun. The video too difficult for Rajan's mother to watch, but the family is still waiting on answers. All we have heard is that the investigation is ongoing and they have no further comment. We also checked in with APD to see if they could give us any insight on how the investigations are going. There are two happening, a criminal one and an administrative one with the Office of Police Oversight. APD said, quote, while we understand the need for answers, criminal and administrative investigations require a thorough investigation, which may take an extended time to complete. The Munasinga family says they'll keep going for Rajan and other families. We do this every day in the legacy of my brother to make change, to to share his story so that as it impacted the legislature, it will also impact police departments. And really, we want to save lives. Jessica Taylor, CBS Austin News.